Hi there, my dear Aries friends. Uh, this is your soulmate twin flame. How does he, she feel about you spread uh, for the time frame of 23rd until the 31st of May? Um, of course, the energies might change in that time frame, but um, let's see what we have here. Um, what I have done here is... Uh, uh, as trying to, I will try to assess how you feel towards them using the right away tarot deck underneath um, I laid that I laid out five um, card um, five cards from the gilded tarot to see how they feel about you and then of course got some uh, Dorian virtue romance angel cards to um, further assess um, what type of uh, to, to gain any more clarity or any further advice on uh, this situation. Um, so the way you feel about them overall is pretty positive. Um, you have the sun <clears throat> here as your first card. So that's, uh, you, you feel, um, rather optimistic, positive. You feel kind of, uh, you know, jo joyous, kind of free. You're releasing your inner child, you know, um, you might be having a good, good time. Because I do see that you may be with this individual already. Um, and you know, next to it, you've got, you have the strength card. Um, since we have the sun right directly next to the strength, some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo zodiac sign in particular. Now that could be just mean that you're, you've taken control of the situation. If you're committed to this individual, you're, you know, you're, you're doing really well regarding, um, you know, um, having control of the whole relationship dynamic. Um, if you're not with this individual, you could have just uh, gained a lot of control over your emotional side of things for them. Um, you know, and you feel quite positive about, about you too. Uh, then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, that that to me means like you're you're ready to extend them some type of practical offer. Um, could be a uh, business related as well, and I'll tell you why. Um, in a, in in a minute, but this could be that maybe you want to start some type of partnership with them, or you could work with them as well. Then we have the Page of Cups. Uh, so the Knight of Pentacles could represent an um, a an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. You may be dealing with them, or it's just it could just represent you that it, you you have thought of something, you really planned it slowly but surely, and you're making progress towards this individual, um, wanting to offer them a practical. Uh, beginning a practical idea a practical message or could be the other way around and we have the page of cups and you see how this um, uh, knight of pentacles and the page of cups are directly um, coming head to head so that to me kind of indicates that whilst you may be making a practical offer to them or they're making a practical offer to you one of you but i feel like you're waiting for them to um, offer you some type of emotional um, message they could be younger than you or vice versa if you're the one um, who's ready to offer some type of emotional message to them or admit that you're you know you, you do have a lot of feelings for them um, the page energy is someone who's younger and they're coming face to face so like both energies are coming together to give each other offer one will be more of a practical dynamic and one's more based on an emotional dynamic of things as well then we have the six of ones and the three of pentacles which have um come out of the deck together so we have to read it as a message which is you know once once these offers are going to come into fruition, you are victoriously going to move forward into some type of new partnership with this individual, whoever speaks to you. Um, if it doesn't, uh, could mean that you may be working with this person um, also. And once once you guys establish some type of communication on some type of messages, exchanging um, feelings for one another or exchanging some type of practical beginning, you will feel rather victorious about that. So let's get into because I'm sure you're quite um, urged to know how they feel about you. Oh, sorry. And the underlying energy for you, which means the main energy of how you feel about them is the six of swords. So maybe um, 
there was some type of um, situation in the past or you could have been um, in, in, in a quite um, disappointing relationship before but with, with this situation or maybe this new individual you may be dealing with who uh, technically could be your soulmate or twin flame you're moving away from this emotional baggage you have had in the past because these people are pace, facing their back to the left hand side which is the past and they're moving into calmer water so you're ready to um or could have had some type of you know uh, miscommunication or arguments with this um, new individual maybe you have been moving really slowly towards them with this knight of pentacles um you know and you're just moving away from some type of emotionally uh, turbulent situation and you have gained strength and control over your emotions as well so i mean um you're doing great aries then how does your soulmate, your twin flame, or this person you've got connection with feel about you? We have the world card. Uh, this is a good card because it seems like this year is a potential new beginning. Someone they could start a new life cycle with. A total, um, you know, uh, a total new phase of life. And you see them in a positive way and this is directly faced underneath each other. Then underneath, uh, I mean, next to the world, we have the tower. So, like, maybe it could be that you're working with this individual and you're not expecting them to make you some type of love offer or a practical new beginning and they are thinking about that but they are thinking that that may cause some type of um uh, shake up the tower card is some type of shake up some type of old beliefs being destroyed uh, because you can see the tower is built on a very very unstable foundation so that has to be destroyed in order to uh, regain stable foundation and build a new tower on top if that makes sense um, so they're thinking about maybe, um, this is a very rapid acting card as well. So something, um, they may confess something, uh, you may not be expecting, or maybe you, or maybe you will confess your feelings to them or offer them a practical new beginning. As I say, some type of work partnership could be as well. We have, because we have a three of pentacles working together on a project and, um, <clears throat> they, they just some type of shake up. Uh, for me, sometimes the tower, um, I, I don't know, it's a bit weird, but um, the tower, some, <laughs> um, how shall I say this and express myself properly, sometimes it represents that they could be fantasizing about you because look at the shape of the tower and this naked man falling out of it. So they can, can quite kind of think you're quite sexy too. Uh, then we have the king of pentacles. And you have the Nile Pentacles, and you're offering them some type of practical new beginning. So, in a sense, yes, you are in an Aries, and you're a fire sign, and this is a card of an Earth sign. I think this individual sees you as someone who is very stable in the practical matters of life. Um, you could be an entrepreneur or a business individual. That's why there is some type of practical new beginning and some type of partnership coming in, where you feel uh, very. Uh, victorious about that um and they may think yes of course you're well established into business but they may think that you might be quite wealthy as well and they want to start some type of new beginning with you um you know because you might be able to um stabilize their finances as well i don't want to really say that uh, since it's a, a twin flame soulmate thing, we cannot read this as a negative card. But in some cases, it could be that they kind of see you as a, a, you know, a jackpot kind of thing, you know. But not in this case. I suppose they just think you're very grounded, stable. Um, you're in charge of practical um, life matters. And you you could be a very profound business individual or quite wealthy as well. So they kind of look up to you in that way. Um, but as I say in, in, in general readings that could potentially pertain because we have the tower card next to it um, but but potentially could be that they might see you and um, miss or miss the money bags but um, not in this case then we have the five of wands for some reason it may feel that within your um, 
dynamic there's other people involved or the, the, there has been some type of fights um, um, coming to them or from you where um, there are interference from other people like other people sticking in their opinions into the whole matter or other people influencing the overall situation and then we have the ten of ones so for some reason they do feel like they have um, like this situation for them is burdensome um, I, I believe that is because uh, you have been doing the Knight of Pentacles on them. The Knight of Pentacles, as I say, is a very, very slow-moving energy. Uh, maybe they have been waiting for you, um, you know, to offer them something. And because you have been so slow and nothing's been taken off the ground yet, they're kind of losing hope and uh, they feel like they hit a concrete wall for the time being. Um, also, um, because of these other people... Um, possibly or other people's opinions like getting within the dynamic of your um, connection uh, they do feel quite burdened and they do feel like they're unable to move forward because look this man is carrying a, a very large load so moving on to oh, so, oh i'm sorry and they um the overall energy is the sun right so for them they do see you in a very positive light and they do see you as a new beginning as well um you know um which is quite interesting because you have the sun and they have the sun so they kind of see you in your own element as well because sun rules off all fire signs and as i say uh, you could be dealing it with a leo in particular um an earth sign a uh, capricorn taurus or virgo or a water sign uh which is uh cancer scorpio um or pisces but um i am unable to distinguish between um which one may be you but for some reason i am feeling that you are the knight of pentacles with that slow moving offer practical offer towards this individual when they're ready to offer you their emotions and they could be younger than you or um in fact not necessarily that it could be just maybe possibly a bit naive and immature in certain aspects of a life i don't mean they're like immature but could be you know they have that kind of immature sense of humor that kind of thing you know Moving on to the Dory Virtue cards, we have uh, True Love. Uh, this is the romance of a lifetime. Uh, then we have Wedding. This situation involves marriage. So what I'm getting here now is that with that very slow moving offer, you might be potentially taking your time because you want to reach a higher level of commitment with them. And once you... Um, or they could be thinking about that that's why the tower is here because they think of you as uh, potentially um how can i express myself potentially bringing in something that will shake their ground or vice versa something really unexpected um then we have it is safe for you to love as I always say, this is my favorite card. Uh, this woman there is really, really um, beautiful. The blonde woman there. Um, I really like this card. And it says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. True love. Safe for you to love. Go for it. And then it says, um, express your love. So whatever slow offer you have going there. Or if you are ready to express your emotions, the angels are saying, go ahead and make the romantic gesture and this is placed right underneath the wedding card so there might be for some of you um and then again we have religious factors could be marriage uh, to, pertaining to marriage it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so by me now i'm even i'm even more clear that um with this partnership and this very slow moving offer and someone reciprocating back that, that there will be some type of proposal potentially a marriage proposal happening between the two of you and uh, i mean congratulations that is amazing and it, it is confirming that um you know if you're contemplating about it it is confirming that it is true love you need to express your love and it is safe for you to love um maybe this person has been waiting for quite a while and other people have been involved, as I say, within the dynamic, and they feel quite burdened. Maybe because they're the one who's trying to make a decision about you, um, whether they want to, you know, go long term. 
that's why we have the tower here because they know they'll bring in something that will really shake your ground something very spontaneous you know or it could be vice versa as i say what whatever may speak to you but i mean overall they have the sun and you have the sun i mean it's great so if that's the case then really congratulations to you